Hello, everyone. My name is Joshua Toth, and I am a graduate assistant at the Geisinger Commonwealth School of Medicine. In this poster session, I will discuss the use of the ResiRoll server to enable assessment of protein structure model quality using functional site predictions. The quality assessment techniques, or QA techniques, have been integrated into community efforts to, of the assessment of protein models. And they appear in things such as CASP, the biannual community-wide experiment to assess methods of protein structure prediction, and the CAMEO, or Continuous Automated Model Evaluation Project. ResiRoll currently belongs to a category of quality assessment methods which require knowledge of the experimental reference structures for comparison to structural models. The ResiRoll method could be described as occurring in a few general steps as follows. First, the functional site predictions are made using the feature program in both the structure models and corresponding experimental native structures. The resulting scores are converted to z-scores based on available benchmarking studies. Next, the z-scores are converted to probabilities using a cumulative density function, and the average difference between the probabilities of the putative functional site predictions are made in the structural models and the experimental structures is calculated. We refer to these different differences as different scores. On our server, these averages are calculated for structure models generated by each structure prediction technique represented in Cameo. So in order to illustrate this methodology, consider an example of a functional site prediction of an EF hand calcium binding site, which represents one of the 606 feature reference models utilized. Here, predictions for the structure models generated by the Robetta and FIRE2 methods are shown in comparison to the experimental reference structure of the crystal structure of group one Docker and domain of hydrolase GDSL. The location of the predicted calcium binding site is centered on an asparagine residue. The experimental structure is shown in white, the Robetta model in yellow, and the FIRE model in magenta. The calcium ion is shown in green. So notice that the asparagine in FIRE2 and Robetta models adopt a different rotomer state relative to the reference structure. This change in conformation contributes to an alteration of the physiochemical properties assigned to the feature vectors that are used for functional site prediction, such that the FIRE2 model receives a 3.5 site uh, prediction probability, the Robetta model a 26% probability, and the target, in which the asparagine interacts with the calcium ion shown in green, receives a 99.96 functional site prediction probability. Thus, th thus the difference score calculated for the Robetta model is 0.74, and the difference score for FIRE2 model is 0.965. Now I will discuss our web server, which provides results of the head-to-head -head comparisons of structure prediction techniques using these different scores through regular automated updates. Averages of different scores are calculated for structure models generated by each structure prediction technique represented in Cameo. Overall rankings of the structure prediction techniques can be identified per selected time interval or per target structures. Currently under development and likely completed by the time that you are viewing this presentation is a tool for uploading new structure models and native structures for interactive analysis. Now here we see a screenshot of the landing page of ResiRoll, which is available at the URL at the top of your screen. We see that we can choose a time interval to consider, which corresponds to the set of protein structure models addressed in Cameo during that specific time frame. Shown here are results upon selection of a one-year interval from June 1st, 2019 to May 23rd, 2020. The protein structure models analyzed include those described in Cameo for the week of May 23rd, together with those accumulated over the past one year. The results are presented for each structure prediction technique, which are listed in the leftmost column. By clicking on the heading of the second column circled in blue and labeled average difference score, one can obtain a ranked list of structure prediction techniques based on their average difference scores. As discussed previously, lower difference scores indicate that the probabilities of the functional site predictions for structure models were closer to the probabilities of the functional site predictions obtained for the corresponding sites in the native experimental structures. Further to the right, each column heading provides the PDB ID of a target experimental structure and its chain ID. Beneath are the average difference scores for the structure models according to the structure prediction technique if it in fact produced a model for that structure. Results could be ranked by clicking on the heading of each one of these columns as well. See also that the results are presented for all structure models addressed for the selected time interval. One can select the results according to the subset categories of easy, medium, and hard. These categories are based on the LDT score ranges and are the same as described on the Cameo site. 
Currently under development is a tool to analyze any user defined structure model versus a native structure via an interactive web submissions page. Here the user uploads the coordinates of their structure model along with the coordinates of the experimental structure and receives results detailing the different scores of all functional site predictions found. The interactive tool is currently under development and instructions for use will be posted on the ResiRoll server as soon as testing is complete. And just currently work on the ResiRoll server um, involves maintaining the automated update process so that the results of our method may be determined along uh, with the releases of structure models from Cameo and the corresponding structures in the PDB. Uh, for the future, we hope to see if the method may com complement any quality estimation techniques as a contribution to the CASP experiment. And we also anticipate that the ResiRoll server may be further useful for interactive analysis for defined structure models or user-defined structure models in comparison to their native experimental structures. I would like to thank all those in the laboratory who contributed to the studies. Our team includes Drs. William McLaughlin, Paul DePietro, Jurgen Haas, and myself. Funding was provided in part by the National Institute of General Medical Science and the Markar Foundation. So this concludes my presentation. Thank you for your attention and please feel free to ask any questions or provide comments.